Tonight, the manhunt, a carjacker on the run after pulling a gun, a crime of opportunity with a crashing end. Good evening, I'm Matt Austin. And I'm Ginger Gadsden in for Lisa Bell tonight. Deputies have spent all night trying to find this dangerous man. The attack happened as a man walked back to his car along South OBT this afternoon. The attacker crashed a short time later near 38th and Rio Grande. Jennifer Ortega is live there now in Jen, big search for this guy. What's the latest? Yeah, Ginger, deputies have not made an arrest. They say that suspect is still out there and he's armed and dangerous. Neighbors tonight say he couldn't have gone too far. <laughs> There's nowhere to go. There's a lake at the end of the street. Mm -hmm. 33rd's over there mm -hmm. and all the police were down there. Where's he gonna go? Blue lights swarmed this Orlando neighborhood after the suspect took off on foot. Deputies say it started out of business. The victim was inside the store and came back out to get his wallet. That's when he was greeted with the gun in his face. The suspect demanded money and took off in his black BMW. It looks like it was someone who was trying to make some money, get some cash, get a car, and do a common, if that's a, a, a term that I can use here, carjacking. And he was successful, obviously, and uh, was able to get away. Deputies spotted the Beamer and gave chase until the suspect crashed into several cars in this driveway. Neighbors upset the suspect T-boned this antique car. At home, they weren't bothering anybody, nothing. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, this trauma came on them. Yeah, that car's been there a long time. I mean, it's, I believe it was like their uh, father or grandfather's car. As deputies went door to door searching for the carjacker, they say this house, reeking of marijuana, caught their attention and moved forward with an unrelated drug bust. We were there as they took a man into custody. Now deputies say they should have a sketch of this suspect coming very soon, but they do tell me he's in between the ages of 18 and 20. If you have any information on where this man could be, you're asked to call the sheriff's office. Live in Orlando, Jennifer Ortega, News 6. All right, Jen, thank you.